Hello everyone, welcome back to Cobalt Core. Uh, I'm breaking my first run up into three videos because I'm a slow enough player that uh, I can't do it all in one video without it being too long. So here we are. We just finished Act 1 in easy mode. Pretty much crushing it here. Um... Oh yeah, so great. Oh, and it just takes you into the first fight. Sure, you don't get to preview the map first. Interesting to note that this thing apparently does carry over across combat, so it is the kind of thing you're supposed to optimize by delaying the combat. I, as mentioned before, I hate that, but okay, we're stuck with it, I guess. Um, what do I want to do? Multi-shot obviously looks great. This is just a normal attack for three, nothing fancy. And it's in my missile bay, so I don't really care very much. I think it's time to get rid of this Genesis canister, yeah? Maybe I don't multi-shot at all? I get the energy back, I know, but like I'd like to shield surge. I guess I could just dodge? Because getting multi-shot out right now is really nice, right? Yeah. Let's just, um... Move. See ya. Options... Lunch? No? Well, yeah, lunge and then use one of eight, I guess. their buff power drive okay so they're they're like gaining attack every turn so shields are getting worse and blocking is getting better got it i'd like to get rid of the genesis canisters all in this fight if i can it seems like i should be able to weaken hull is another strong possibility i guess i could weaken this wing but i'm just gonna keep working on the Genesis canisters. Oh, you big dummy. You're over in the wrong place now. Let's see. Uh, the funny thing is, I guess Weaken Hull is still good. Gives me basic shot back. I can't get the Endless Magazine, but I think Weakening is pretty good. I don't know, Endless Magazine is like one damage every turn. This is two damage now, and then one damage sometimes, but I don't know how many times. And it gets this out of my deck. I guess I'll, I'll go with this one. Yep. And then I'll basic shot it. I guess I could, no. I could not and shield, but we're going to basic shot it for two, for sure and then just get out of the way. Oh, it's my overcharge turn, huh? Uh, well, I mean, we have lethal, but the Genesis canisters and this thing are both encouraging me to drag out the fight, so sadly I think I'm supposed to do that. All right, second opinions. Interesting, this is a different color than this is. This is gray, I guess? Okay, well, I'll play that. And then... I think I can get away with a multi-shot here. Options would be the more conservative play, but I think we're doing fine. We, we can afford to squeeze in the damage. This kills. Not supposed to do that yet. They're gonna add some shields. I still think that's fine. Ah, 
All right, having this on two is probably fine. Can I kill this turn? Comically, I can't because I have zero damage. So give me some options. And an endless magazine. Big shield. Ugh, not so impressed. Panic B. Oh, I love this. Attack for zero. Move two in a random direction. Shield one. And attack for zero again. What a funny card. I kind of like it. I think I'm wrong. I think it's not good. But, like, if you get the overdrive, it's quite good. And, you know, worst case... I mean, worst case, it could be very bad. You could move to a bad place and blow up some stuff that you would have preferred to keep there in the mid-row or whatever. But, like, this is a lot like a shield. Slash a lunge? Like, often just being anywhere but where you are is fine. And if that's not the case, you don't have to play this card. Um, your next attack will stun, cancel the intent of the targeted port. That's whatever. I think it... I don't know. I'm probably supposed to skip. But this is so funny. I'll take it. Um, we can't possibly hit both elites. So I guess I'll go this way first. So I can hit two shops. Well, hmm. yeah, three shops, I guess, counting the one before the boss. Yeah, why not? Does pressing D open up my deck? It doesn't. Okay, but you can still choose this and then cancel. Yeah, okay. Uh, I mean, the deck is getting more consistent. I really need more Dizzy cards. I haven't been playing a lot of those. Um, yeah, I should remember also that when there's like a choice of these play versus something else and it doesn't matter much I should try to air towards the blue ones what could I upgrade oh interesting from the exhaust pile that could give you some strong stuff and it's targetable wow these are so powerful. Deal two, weaken, move again. Deal two again, brittle it again. That's crazy. What does this do? Oh, really? It doesn't exhaust. So you can just gain as many chip shots per turn as you want eventually. Yeah, these upgrades might be better than removing. More drawn now. I mean, that's fine. The thing is, charge beam is a reason to want to keep removing, right? But I guess upgrading options is better than removing a card, assuming we play it usually when we draw it, which I think we do. This is such a powerful effect. I think drawing's pretty cool. Let's upgrade options to options B. This is like draw four. And also gain movement for one. Seems amazing. The fact that you get some of the cards now and some next turn is sort of like whatever. It's good and bad. 
I think it's probably better than drawing all four at once, but I'm not, it depends on your deck probably. Upcycling program. You want to turn take one of my cards from another deck? Yeah, give me a rarer, like, take away this basic shot, please. It's a blue card, just what we wanted. Max shield goes up by one, and you shield. Cool. You're prevented from skipping this, yes, fine. So we could either make it cheaper or increase capacity by even more. Great. Thanks, seems fine. Oh, it's my overcharge turn, so the panic is uh, actually doing damage. How nice. Uh... I mean, let's just see what this does. If it moves me right, like, how sad am I? I guess I'm a little sad. Let's, let's take options first. Ooh. Block shot looks good. And then shield surge, I guess? Sure. Yeah, so whoever destroys this takes two damage. Let's see. Let's lunge. We're now taking zero because this is attacking our armored part for one twice. And that means we can get the endless magazine in play. <laughs> I do like these little quips sometimes. When I when I saw myself taking zero damage twice, I was like, I gotta see what the crew has to say about this. Look how smart I am. Um, they're going to be shooting their own mine. Very funny. Uh, let's see. This gains shield. Yeah, so just increase my max shield, I guess, and get that out of the deck. Take some options, I guess. And apparently there was a chip shot in my hand. I hadn't even really looked at it. Let's just scooch to the right and block. You're you're not hurting me with that attack, my friend. Panic would be very bad right now. We just might hit the space mine. Now this this is an effect. Oh, this is already brittle. Why? When did that happen? When this ship is shot, the part that was hit gains armor for the rest of the turn. So what happens if I just weaken this? Okay, it went from being brittle to being armored. And it didn't get weakened. So I shot it with a weaken effect, and it got that, but then this trigger went off and it got armored instead. Will it be weakened next turn? Tune in next time to find out, I guess. I guess, right? It's the only thing I can do that really accomplishes anything. Okay, so this is still weak. But it's no longer brittle. So, okay, good to know. It can only have one status, basically. So enemies at... 13. Why don't I just attack them in their brittle butts for 14? Oh, I should have maybe played a dizzy card or something. Deflection. Overpower is nice with the... Um, The 
the um, chip shots. But it's a it's a very short term effect. I think quick thinking is also reasonable. We have enough draw. I don't really want to spend energy on it. So the question is, do I want deflection? It's okay. Can I see my deck? D? No. Show deck. I don't think I'll take any of this. I just want to make sure I'm cycling, getting to my good stuff. None of that is like super crucial, have to have it. Yeah, let's see. We, we were talking about upgrading this, huh? Or what do you get if you upgrade that? It just gets bigger or it gets reusable. Well, being able to use this multiple times is cool, but it is sort of like, I don't know. I'm just gonna take this, this is hilarious. Take double damage. Yeah, that makes the charge beam even better. I'm a genius. Okay. That's that's our win condition, is weaken them and then charge, or brittle them and then charge beam them. All of Dizzy's cards do extra damage. Wow, amazing. Look at all the Dizzy attacks we have. It's Block Shot. Wow. Block Shot does double damage. If I'd taken that, uh, whatever it was at the last shop, or here, the Dizzy card that I skipped, it could have been decent. All right, Elite, please. Yeah, so there's sections of the ship that don't exist. If you attack, it doesn't hit anything. Uh, options, I guess. That's very blue. Uh... It's a little awkward. I mean, there's not quite a good place to be. I think I'm gonna go left just once, maybe? And then attack and yeah, get this pulse barrier out of the way. No. I think I'll just use the temp shield. There we go. Oh, it gave me even more because Dizzy's thing went off, sure. By the way, we used the double damage of Block Shot. Yeah, that, that doesn't hurt very much for me. Uh... Move right, weaken. Then... Multi-shot and move right again? I don't want to spend all my dodge on that. I don't think panic is a good idea. Well, it's probably fine. Let's see what happens. It might move me out of the way. move to the right now. It's fine. I'm taking one. I probably could have just taken all two here, but I have plenty of movement, sort of. I don't think any of these cards are very good right now. Sure. Panic is sort of okay. But actually, it's also very bad. Like, if it goes left, it's cool. If it goes right, I guess it's okay. The attack does nothing, though, which seems stupid. 
Why not just like lunge to the right, missing, and then lunge to the right, missing again, and then gain some movement? Okay, taking one here. Charge beam attacks for five, which doubled is ten, so we're not ready to win yet. But, I mean, okay, opponent is at 20. If I could come up with 10 damage, I would win. That's 7, so I can't. Oh, it's Glissade. How do you pronounce this? Glissade? I don't know. Keep in mind, we can get into, you know, position to shoot at basically anything anytime we want. Did I not put um, Endless Magazine into play? I guess I didn't. Well, let's just do that now, shall we? Options drew itself after the shuffle, okay. Very fun. Looks like a great time to panic. I won't chip shot first, because I can always chip shot after, and maybe chip shot can connect here. Great. And then we'll lunge to the right. It's pretty cool. Chip shot. Block shot? Yeah, it does double damage. Look at that. Uh, I could panic here. I have a lot of move. I'm gonna scooch to the right. Well, I mean, panic isn't doing any damage anyway. So I guess I'll panic first. Okay, looks like we're going left. Fine. Uh... Just block, block, block. I should have chip shot it first, actually. I'm gonna throw this away. I don't want to draw it later. Should have done that. Before. Well, no, I, I was never lined up for an attack. I don't think. All right, there's the charge beam for yeah, lethal. So lunge, charge beam. Barrage. Attack one, move right. Attack one, move right. Attack one. Whatever. Your shields become zero. What is that arrow? Enemy shield, I think? Oh, outgoing shield is zero, yes. Stop the enemy from doing anything. Stop yourself from doing anything. Eh. I don't think any of this is what I want. Gain energy every third turn seems great. When you play purple cards, get chip shots. Okay, I like purple cards. Charity's combat gain temp shield equal to your missing hull. No. This one's great, the others all suck. I mean, this one's fine. Because my deck does have a decent number of parry cards, right? We could get some chip shots, but I just love energy, I think. Alright, what is your deal? What is this? It's the cockpit. You're launching a bunch of missiles. And we're on an overcharger turn, huh? So, multi shot, obviously a good play. Lunge seems fine. And then shield surge. Hello, missiles. Maybe I shouldn't have lunged right into you, huh? How much do these do? One or two? Two. I'd like to play Endless Magazine and Options B this turn. 
But I think I'm not going to do either of those things. I'm going to glissade to the right. Endless Magazine is not what I wanted. I wanted Weak and Hull. Whoops. It's a little embarrassing. Okay, options. Yeah, just... Ugh. Blundered that. I wanted to get the Weak and Hull down. I don't think it's, like, crucial, but... Oh, is this the only thing they fire? So if we, like... Get out of the way of the old turn and the previous turn, you just like can't hurt me? It looks like you do have lasers. Right, let's go for weak and hull here, I guess. Just no, let's let's lunge. Ugh. Fine. I want I don't want to do it right in a missile bay because these are protected by missiles, but like we should be able to hit them anyway, right? Uh, let's chip shot him and block shot him, and we're like basically game over. For the enemy, not for me, of course. Okay, so they do have different missiles. This is a big one, does extra damage. Uh, okay, I mean, you're dead though, right? Maybe should have shield surge. No, I'm on the right amount. Okay, great. Juke A, instantly move four at random. I like draw shot A. Draw three, attack. I'll take it. Yo. My basic dodge hasn't been played in a long time. Any cool upgrades available though? Block shot A, do four damage. It's kind of cool, actually. Okay. Pirate and a cruiser class warship. Yes, yeah, this is a, like. It's rigs. Oh no. I used to be so soft, this should be easy. Yeah, so it's. It's future rigs is the second fight, I guess. It's concussible. If you attack... Is that all their missile bays are concussible? No, this one's weak. Um... Oh, it's an overcharge turn, so panic actually does damage, huh? I think we want to weaken hull somewhere, and I don't think it matters that much where, so let's just do it before moving. Block shot A is pretty cool. Attack A. Nice. I do seem to be taking three, and no amount of moving is really going to help with that. If I move left, I get shot here for one less damage, but then this one connects. Moving right is... Oh, moving right does reduce it to two, I guess. Because the, these two cancel out, and this gets... Yeah, okay. That's a little better. So maybe I should have done that first? Because I think I do prefer the cockpit being weakened to this, because I don't want to be standing in front of this very much, I think. Well, you really do attack a lot, huh? Well, it doesn't seem like a big problem. I'll just Endless Magazine and Shield Burn Garage. Oh, I have extra energy from Overclock Generator. Great. Okay. Basic dodge.
I don't think we're looking for lethal yet. Let's scoot over here. Take out one missile. Take out the other missile. Uh, I should have options first, I think. Shield surge is perfect. Okay, I mean... Combat's not going incredible, but I think it's fine. Four evade still, so I think I can afford to scoot over and shoot at the cannon, right? Oh, it's an overcharge turn as well? No. Why is this three? Shouldn't it be two? The four? Was it, when I was looking at the upgrade screen, was it showing me it doing two damage? Because I already had that upgraded and it was showing me the card with the upgrade applied. And now it's being doubled and then have, I don't understand, this doesn't make sense. There's no shielding here. What is this, can I look at my deck? Lockshot A does two. That's fine. Oh, they don't double. I thought they were double. They do plus one. Okay, fine. I guess because I only had one card and it was doubling it, that was what I came up with. We went doubled from one to two. It was doubled by addition. Keep in mind also, they do have temp shield this turn, so attacks are not as good. Yeah, maybe it's not actually all that great to scoot over to punch this. Maybe I'll just draw a shot and see what happens. Well, I want to do some blocking. Maybe let's just panic? Seems kind of stupid, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It might make things worse for no reason. Yeah, just a little draw shot. Okay, Dizzy cards look perfect. Let's shield up. And... We're taking two right now. Another temp shield would be useful, and attacking for three is doing something. Sure. for five. Enemy is at 19. So it doesn't look like we have lethal here. Sadly, it's going to miss the shuffle if I play options B this turn. That is sort of important. Let's just scoot to the left by two, which I guess I can use this for. I can punch this thing. And these two damage are not a big problem. The problem is I want to draw... Why do I have so much energy? Oh, the, con the generator must have gone off. Okay, maybe I have to just accept that I'm drawing. Okay, scoot left, draw. 
multi shots, amazing. Charge beam. Okay, we had lethal after all. By a long shot, we had lots extra. Yeah, way more healing than I really need. You try. This is like I said, the basic difficulty is very easy. Uh, I mean these cards are both amazing, right? The yellow ones. Shield gun. Attack for the sum of your shield and temp shield. Uh, plus one because of the dizzy thing, of course. Uh, but I think drawing... Oh, discard your hand and draw five. That is a problem. I'd rather not discard my hand. Selective memory is amazing. Think twice. I don't know. I'd rather increase my options. This is very good, like, once you've decided, oh, okay, I'm done playing the cards in my hand. But... Often you're like, okay, I don't know exactly which cards I need to play. Let's draw something. I need to increase my options, and this doesn't always do that. It does help with the charge beam. But I think a zero mana vampiric tutor, or demonic tutor, pretty good. It's not as good because it only affects your draw pile, right? In like Magic the Gathering, for example, demonic tutor, you know, draws you any card in your deck, and it's very, 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 very strong. But in that context, your deck is like all the things that could possibly, you could ever have, right? Sometimes your deck doesn't have the card you want in this case. Uh, okay, what's our artifact? Gain max shield, gain shield at the start of every turn, but if you have too much shield, take damage. That seems like a no. Energy, your cannons are weak. Seems good. We skipped that earlier, I think. Gain one evade, you can no longer have more than three. Forget it, I want seven evade. I'll take glass cannon, I think. That one took a little bit less long than Act 1, but I think we will still take a break here before starting Act 3. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.